base coat. Nice and messy. <laughs> I like it. My ears keep popping too. Rinse my hands off here. Okay. You want to walk over here and these are our wonderful, yummy colors. It's like candy. <laughs> Big cock colors. Right. And I think I'm going to start because whatever you start with in the base of your cup is going to be what comes out last. And you want it kind of like honey, the consistency of honey or maple syrup. You don't want it to form a mound when it drips. And if it does, you can add a little bit of water or some it's Floetrol mixed with water. But this feels pretty good. All right. So we're going to pour some of this in the bottom. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of metallic gold. I can't remember the brand name of them. Uh, Apple something, I'm not sure. Okay. some gold and then we'll add some royal purple sorry for the shakiness <laughs> first time doing mom's video I have a helper here today my lovely assistant Shanna my daughter who is also responsible for lighting <laughs> and making my logo lotus I love it be better uh, if it was painted. Okay, we're gonna add some purple. And then we're gonna add some lavender. And then some turf. 
Let me see color here. I think this is Caribbean. It's called or Caribbean, however you say it. So you can say it either way. Right. It's about the same. And this is the start of that, and then I added some greens to it to kind of make my own color, which I have no idea what it is, but I think it's pretty. So. Dump that in there. Go on to our greens. And as you go, the colors kind of layer each other. Right. They push each other around. Right. I'm going to add some white to this. Just a little bit. I don't want it to overtake anything. And for a 16 by 20 canvas, we're going to want about 11 ounces. I'm going to do 12 just to make sure I have enough. So then I'm going to go back and add a little bit of black. A little bit of gold. Purple. Lavender. And if I have more than 12 ounces, that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it because I scrape the excess and use it for a float or a base or some of that. And if your paints are too thin, that's when they'll get muddy when they mix together and you don't get... Or when they like suck each other into each other. Yep. I've had that happen and it was not fun. Right? Yeah, it's no fun. Okay. And I'm going to end off with some black. I've never tried that before, but I kind of thought, let's give it a try. Right? Why not? It's only paint. <laughs> okay. Now, have you ever even looked at your canvas? The way you had smeared it, it kind of looks like you already have cells already right. on the paint. Right. So when you layer the paint, it probably, that's where the cells form. Maybe. No, I'm not sure. Because I just noticed it in the light. It looks pretty celly already with the just the base coat on it. Right. Okay. Deep breath. This is where the magic happens. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to start high. So they kind of blend together. Try not to shake because I shake a lot. Got some blobs right there. Whoa, slow it down. And then when you want to do a more controlled pour, you get closer. Just kind of make your designs here the best that you can.
and I should have plenty of paint on here. I kind of want to keep this up because this is where my design is. And I'm hoping not to lose a lot of it. And I can feel my shakes coming on here. And when you're ready, Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let that sit just for a little bit here. You like see like the cells will kind of start forming here and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this kind of spread out on its own just for a minute here while I clean my hands up. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like this part right here. Yeah, I was just going to say in the, in the video, it's brighter and it kind of looks kind of like a darkest sunset. Oh my God. Sunset right? kind of look to it. Right. Because if you stand this way, it kind of looks like a water. With like the dark glow in the water and then the sun kind of rising in the background. Right. That's kind of what it looks like. That is the gold metallic. So when it dries, picture the shimmer. <laughs> right. That is going to all. Oh, see, that's why I wanted to keep this kind of here. Right. And then I can stretch it this way, which will pull all these little fans out. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. That I could get a... And it's kind of crazy because you have peacock colors and this kind of looks like a peacock feather <laughs> in this corner right here. If it's okay. just me, I don't know. But to me, it looks like peacock feathers. Now I'm going to torch it and that'll help the cells come out. And you don't have to... You can over torch these, so be careful when you're doing this. Basically, you just want to get like the air bubbles out. And you definitely don't want to overheat it because it'll get this weird funky kind of. You can kind of already see that the cells are kind of popping through the black. All right. Okay. And that's, I'm not going to torch it no more. And the great thing about this too is as it sits and dries and stuff, more and more cells pop out. So mm -hmm. it like, you can leave and two hours later come back and it looks like a totally, almost a totally different. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a cushion here because I would rather this slide off than my actual design. So I'm gonna do that. And you don't want this, if it blends in, that's great, but you don't want this here higher than that. Um, so I kind of like to pull it away. If it, like if I would have poured it, see how some is a little bit gapping there? It, if it's higher up, then it just stops your design. So you want to kind of pull this out so it slides onto that. I love the feel of the paint. I know it's weird. I'm weird, but I do. And I just kind of push it off and let it run. And this will help pull it to, to where it needs to go. Messy painting, but it turns out great. Oh, I love it. This is just... Where was this six years ago, huh? Well, it was out there, just no one really paid attention to it. Right. Well, I was doing jewelry as well, but I like this much, much better. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's going to glide. 
Still getting used to her camera on her phone, just FYI. I can move your phone and then your camera finally moves, so it's kind of weird. So I'm like, oops. I get so angry with my phone sometimes. It's just like, stop. Stop the madness. There. <clears throat> I know I'm probably going to lose a lot of this when I tilt, but that's okay because I'm focusing on this actually right there. That's, and it kind of all goes by how you stack your, that's why I wanted to end with black because I knew black would end up right there then. So, oh, look at that. That's just too amazing. Zoom in there so people can see it. Right. Those cells weren't there before, and then she torched it. And they kind of popped out a little bit better than where they were. Right. Okay. So now I'm just going to... I'm going to start slowly tilting it to the side here. Letting it stretch. Readjust. And you always want to push your design back to the center. And then we're going to go to this side. do this or if I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this first. Just to kind of... Well, let's see if we can pull it down to the corner here. Sorry if I get quiet. I'm just concentrating really, really hard. I'm trying to stay out of her way. <laughs> okay. Plus, everyone wants to say happy birthday to her. It's her 52, 52 years. Woot woot. Woot woot. It's amazing. It's a miracle, huh? 
52 years old and already having a grandbaby on the way. Right. At least it's a good age, though. Plus, you don't even look like you're 52, so... <laughs> Well, thank you. I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks pretty cool now. I only have it stretched out like that. i to come on that side. I wanted to make sure I kept some of it. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like all my good stuff was coming off. I'm like, no, it can't be a total fail. <laughs> Last corner. Pull that back. Ooh, wrong. Last corner is over here. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys don't drop your foot in the paint. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Okay. Let's get this last corner here. Come on, baby. Get it moving again. One more trick. There it goes. That's what I'm looking for. Come on.
I'm not sure how I feel about that right there. I think it gives a character. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. These colors look pretty cool in your camera. Sweet. They're very vibrant. <laughs> I'm almost done. Eh, it just happens when there's a baby pushing on your bladder, you know. Right. Not gonna lie, I really like these colors. I wish we could have done this when the sunshine was off, because then you'd be able to see the metallic gold in there. Well, you can kind of see it right now. Oh, excuse me, I'm yelling. <laughs> in the camera, you can see it. <laughs> you right now can't see it. Okay. Um, I'm going to let that sit for a sec, clean off my hands. And I'm going to do a walk around. See, she thinks you can't see metallic, but I can see it. They look like peacock feathers. Sweet. I am going to give this one quick little torch just to take out the air bubbles. You. Oh, look at that. Even more cells came out. Right? And then one of the last things you want to do, check your corners. Make sure that you got all your corners covered. Everything looks pretty good. And then you want to wipe off the bottom of your canvas. I have tape on the bottom of this so it doesn't look like a war zone on the back of my canvas um, on the wood part of it, the frame. You just peel the tape off once everything dries? Right. And the reason why you do this is because what's ever pulling up underneath here will continue to pull paint off your canvas. So, if you do this, it kind of helps stop that. Got one more side. And I'll do this, I'll come back and do this again in about five, ten minutes. Because I'm sure it'll drip some more. And if you can go in for a really good close-up, I'm gonna go take these gloves off and stuff and I'll be right back. Your edges here. Sorry for the lighting. It's starting to get dark outside. We don't got a whole lot of light in this room. Showing them your edges here. How they do? Did pretty good. Just kind of showing them how it pooled on the corners. Right. I mean the. Final look on top. I'm actually really liking these colors together because it goes from like pink to purple and it has all those metallic colors and kind of looks orangey right there. It kind of looks cool. I'm sure it'll look even cooler in the morning when it's like holy for cell action, huh? Yeah, so you got more cells when you torched it. Wow. They do kind of look like peak feathers, don't they? Yes. Alrighty. Sweet. Hope you enjoy, Deb. <laughs>